is Alex and I'm in my hallway. Um, I'm just doing a little job today. It's something that I didn't want to do. There's a little pussycat. Look at the little pussycat. Not my pussycat. Um, yeah, there's something that I want to do today that I didn't want to do, but I'm going to do it because I've had enough. On my last long trip, which was to Derby, Jessie started like farting and just not being very happy. And I was scratching my head thinking, what's wrong with her? Anyway, after pulling over, thinking, is it this, is it that? You know, I took the, um, the dash pot off the car, I've had a look, everything was working. Uh, took the float chamber lid off, checked the float, checked there wasn't any dirt in there, everything was squeaky clean. And I thought, what on earth's going on? I had a look in the um, distributor. I got electronic ignition, that looked fine. Coil wasn't getting hot. All the leads looked good, rotor arm looked good. So that left only one thing. Is it something to do with the spark plugs? Hmm. Well, yes it was. And I'll show you. So I've got her running at the minute. And she's not as smooth as she could be. Although she is a bit better now. <laughs> she is better now because I've already changed the, uh, the the culprit, which I'll show you. Hang on, let me just turn her off because I don't want her getting hot. Because I need to do more work. Okay. Yes, the culprit. <laughs> these poxy things right so on inspection I found this one to have it's a bit sticky because I stuck insulation tape over it there's a hairline crack there if this camera's gonna pick it up it's cracked all down there these rubber rings are absolutely rubbish the quality of rubber these days is so poor I mean can you see that's perishing and that's only a couple of months old it's not even a year old that rubber ring around there um, and without the rubber ring it doesn't really seal in there properly so that's rubbish it's cracked and they've got this connection in here which I seem to be cleaning too often for my liking because a little acorn here unscrews from that cap and there's a contact in there and I found on Jessie on that fateful day when it was uh, playing up let me just disconnect the coil so I don't get shocked let's balance you in here right, the coil's disconnected du -du 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 -du. let's pull this one out here right this one Specifically, is underneath this engine breather. Now, Jessie's old, you know, she's breathing a lot of dirtiness out of that cap. So, I unscrewed this. Do, 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 do. And look, it's done it again. See, it's gone a bit, a bit sooty in there. It's just been making a sort of poor contact in there. When I took this apart, in Derby when it was playing up. This was black. It was all sooty. I mean, thankfully I had some sandpaper and WD. So I cleaned them up and then she ran, well, normal. But I'm, I'm fed up with these poxy spark plug things. So I decided I'm gonna change them. And what I'm changing them for is, <clears throat> oh, sorry, these, these, are what my Rover P6 has on them and they're rubber so these are the original type boot I put on the end oh Arlo's back that's not embarking though um so I, I had some of these second hand that I got for spares for Mr Jenkins but I've now fitted well I've just fitted one and I'm gonna fit these onto Jesse now they don't hundred percent seal the spark plug um, hole. Let's see. Get in there. But 
they do they do make quite a good seal I think uh, better so than those stupid rubber rings on these acorns and they don't look too out of place so what I'm going to do is show you how I'm fitting those uh, it might not be the right way but it's a way that works okay I'm not an expert I just do things and know they work so yeah I wanted to keep the car original by having these but look this one's got a crack in it as well it's just age isn't it heat and age so yeah it's, it's time to ditch these I, got those holes in I just yeah I, I'm, I really don't like acorns I really don't like these I ditched the one off the coil ages ago so I could just have a push fit one um, you know just so I could in, interchange the coil between my other cars um, so yeah bye bye acorns I'm gonna put them all in this box and put them somewhere safe. There's Arlo. Hello Arlo. You alright mate? Where you been? It's a nice day. Huh, you're a bit low down there. Hi. Um yeah, these are just a spare set of leads I had kicking about for Mr. Jenkins. Um so I'm gonna keep the leads as spares excuse me sniffing I've got hay fever but um, I'm going to take the ends off so I don't want to I want to just cut the lead because that's a waste so we'll try and slide we need to try and slide the boot up the lead so we can access the connect contact inside so I've got some um, WD with silicon we can just spray that it's a bit violet spray this spray it there and hopefully be able to work it out if not what I was doing get this little flathead in here and we can just work our way around the boot to stretch it open a little bit and get the get the spray down in there there it comes There we go so that way we haven't damaged the boot because that's the bit we want and we haven't damaged the lead now we can also uncrimp this piece and we could reuse this if we wanted but I did buy some new ones I bought these they come on a little strip but um, stupidly I ordered four um, and Jesse's a six cylinder so I'm gonna put four new ones on and then I think I'll just use these old ones just two of them and I'll order some more of these I mean I could just leave the old acorns on two of them but I'm really fed up with those acorns now I just want them gone so I tried try to keep the uh, engine bay looking original blah 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 but Jessie's my daily car and I need her to be running nice you know and uh, I'm not happy that those acorns get a bit fouled up a bit too easily for my liking so yeah we're just I just pinch them with these um, side cutters because they get a good grip on there. It's slippery because the silicon. So you can just pull their little teeth out. Let's see. So you can open up. Sorry, this camera is not very good at um, close-up stuff. So you can then take it out. So you can keep that if you want. It's better to use a new one, obviously. Um, and then on the end, sometimes you might see these. I was going to buy some, but I, I didn't know what to search for, to be honest. Um, they're little tiny, like, pins. I don't know if they make a blind bit of difference, but... Pardon me. Little pins, so save that. Put it in my mouth. Now I can't talk to you. So you can see the middle of the wire is like this um it looks like rope 
Um, oh no, I've lost my little pin. Oh, I fell out my mouth. Too much talking. Oh, oh, we'll find it in a minute. So yeah, this stuff, I don't know what it is. It's like, um, it's like your fibre broadband stuff, isn't it? I don't know, whatever. So on Jesse's lead, when we take that off, we'll be pulling that out and doing the same. So we'll, we'll tuck that over, twist it a bit, tuck it over, and then we'll put that pin in, wherever it is. I definitely heard it hit the concrete, but where it went from there, God only knows. Well, I'll see you when I found it. So amongst all the leads that I've got, the spare leads, hi. Um, I found I'm going to keep the longest one whole as a spare for Mr. Jenkins, and I got a king lead for the coil. Keep that for Mr. Jenkins. So I've got six of these boots now. Three, four, five, six. I found the little pin, luckily. <laughs> it was me saying don't lose it. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and pick all these apart and uh, get me little boot, get me little booties. And hopefully Jesse will appreciate them and uh, not not have any more of these little hiccups. Uh, it's just. When you're driving along, I found it when it was playing out here, so you go to accelerate and there'd be a little sort of, a little spit almost. And um, yeah, it really made me think, what the hell is going on? But it, it, it was, it must have been the uh, poxy um, acorn things, because they're all <laughs> cracked, you know? Just old. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling to grip hold of this one. There we go. Oh! <laughs> the struggle is real, people! All this make do and men. I could just cut the blooming thing, but I'm reluctant to because I can keep the parts. Ah, here we go. And reuse them if I need to. That's all it is. I don't like to waste things. There we go. Oh. It looks like... Oh, it has. I thought this one didn't have the pin. But it has. There we go. It's only a little bit of blimmin' copper, isn't it? A little copper wire or something. Uh, keep that. Have that. Because these rubber booties I got from the P6. I mean, they are fitted to other cars, I'm sure, but I know they were on my P6. Uh, they come in two parts. They're like little top hats, so I don't know if you can put the little top hats on a newer boot, but this boot's got sort of ribs on it to keep the booty um, slid down. You feel it slide down. And they're in great condition. You know, there's no sign of perishing with this rubber, so I'm happy to reuse these, you see. Right, I'll keep going. Three more to go. Wow, that made me jump. My door just slammed. <laughs> I don't need to lie down now. Big an heart attack. Thomas the tank engine on the brain. I tell you what, it's a lot easier with a four cylinder car. You only have to do four of these. <laughs> I was just lucky that I had more than four spare actually. Because um, Mr. Jenkins is a four cylinder, so you'd think I'd have four spare ones, but I actually had a random amount. I had seven. Seven and one king lead. Very strange. So I've got lots of bits. I've got all the pins. Got all the booties. Um, yeah, good to go, I think. So now I have to move up to the car. Um, hmm. 
I could bring them down to the floor actually, that would make life easier. Oh, it'll certainly be easier on my back if I just pop the cap off. I've got that off. Uh, the wires, I think, just run loosely. Yeah. So all I've got to do then is pop them out. I don't have to number them because of the tube that they're in, they all go in order, so you can't mix them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've already done them five, so that was the troublesome one. So that, that's cool, I can go in there, lay on the floor, it's better, on, better for my back. I'm just uh, trying to deal with the troublemaker one here, so I prized it out of there. Ugh with the uh, screwdriver ditch that blimmin thing I'll keep it for aesthetic purposes only um, these are the connections that go inside of the acorn um, little fold over jobbies yeah, you can do them with your fingers because they have three pins if you can see one that goes up the middle and two prongs that go into the side. See, it's quite easy really to make your own leads. Um, it's just getting the right ends. Uh, and the right amount of ends helps as well. So I put them in the box, get rid of Mr. Acorn. Uh, now we'll get one of these fellas. Slide it on up. Bit of weird red goo on that one. Get rid of that. If you're struggling to slide, you can get the old uh, silicon on there. That helps it go in. So pleased I come up with the idea to uh, take the cap off and do it down here. The beat's leaning over that engine bay. It's come in. We pinched the end now. Come on, you. Yes, she is. Now you can see this one's obviously a bit damaged from the uh, pins going in. So what we're going to do somewhere? <laughs> Get my snoops. Ooh. And uh, we're going to snoop around not all the way through because look we can, we can expose this stuff just do that again there you go so we've got that good amount there so we can fold that over and we can get mr pin that we saved. Here's one I made earlier. That's it. We can stick one end of the pin in the middle. There we go. So that's pinned in there. And then if we get the uh, the new connector here, make sure the 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 wire bit is touching the metal, that's what we want, isn't it? So we can, we can squeeze that one, squeeze that one in there. There's prob probably proper pliers for this, like round ones that crimp round, but this is fine, this is how I've done them. So it's got a nice tight fit. That's in there. Lovely jubbly. That's not going anywhere. So then, you can slide the boot down 
Oh, a bit more silicon. This silicon stuff's pretty nasty, you know. Come on, down you go. Oh, dear me. Slippery. Oh, it's going. Oh, there you go. Because you want the spark pluggy bit all the way in there, you see. It's in. And then the cap over the top. That'll probably go in further, actually. Just trying to stab my finger. Ah, that felt good. Yeah, that's all the way home now. Marvellous. Right then, four more to go. It looks like it's going to rain. Well, should I say it feels like it's going to rain. The wind's picked up. Sun's disappearing behind the clouds. I've only got these two left to do. Can we just appreciate the cobwebs in the front of Jessie as well? She's very cobwebby, isn't she? Stick me back on there. <laughs> Precariously balanced. Uh, yeah, Jessie's going to get washed tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Quayton Rover Rally at the railway centre. So tomorrow she's going to get... Uh, tomorrow isn't the show. Today's Friday. Tomorrow Jessie gets washed. Sunday is the show. So that's why I wanted to do these HT leads before the long journey to Quayton. So I'll do them and I'll go for a test drive to the fuel station, make sure she's happy with her new leads. Well, the replacement ends, should I say. And uh, go from there. It's all very exciting. Hopefully this works out. Fingers crossed. As I said, I'm no expert and I'm just winging it. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you can't say I didn't try. Yes. We attach everything. That's quite a nice fit actually. Those uh rubber booties that will certainly keep the weather out For some reason, that one's not sitting flush. What about the others? Oof. Yep, that one is. And that one is just about. Right, I'm going to have another look at that other one, make sure it's in properly. Because there's only so much I want to pull on the lead, because I don't want it to pop off, you know? I don't want the thing to break. So you got to make sure 
that's all the way into the rubber boot. damage it. Feels like it's all the way. No, for whatever reason, that one's just not, not sitting down nicely. Strange. It looks like it's all the way home. Although I suppose it could be from a different car because I had two sets of leads so this yeah it looks slightly different because these fit really nice at the front but the back ones don't sit as nice so I'll have to keep my eyes open for some more so we can get this boot oh, I'm just going to see what that other one's like on that spare lead This one, this one looks the same as this one, I think. Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, no, that's about right. Where's this one? Oh, that fits really nice, that one. Oh, I don't know, they all look the blooming same. So why is that one not sitting down? Very strange. Oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully, it will be okay. Anything's got to be better than them stupid acorn things. Ah, that's a bit better. Just pushed it down further. Further farther. Right. I've just tweaked them all so they're a nice tight fit. Um yeah, let's see if she's gonna be happy with me. Here from the exhaust note. That's smooth. Can't deny that sounds so much nicer. I think those acorns are just causing trouble because they're old. They were probably great when they were new, and now they're 60 years old. They're no good. <laughs> oh, got fast idle out a bit there. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm really pleased with that. That was a job well done. recommend ditching the little Bakelite acorns I know they look nice they look original 
But listening to Jesse now with those rubber boots on, it sounds a lot smoother. So I'm well rid of those. Thanks for watching. Bye. I've just been in bed editing this video and I remembered I wanted to tell you that I've driven Jessie since this and she drives so nice. She is so smooth, no little hiccups, farts or anything. And like on idle, you can just feel it. It's a lot smoother. So I'm very glad that I've got rid of those Bakelite things. <sighs> Good night.